afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class C motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Today guys, we're going to look at the king of the Class C's and this is the Fleetwood Jamboree. Today we're going to review a 2008 Fleetwood Jamboree Sport. This is a 25G. I uh, believe this, this is the smallest Class C they built in 2008 for a Jamboree anyway, with a slide out. It's total length, a uh, little under 26 feet long, like 25 feet and 10 inches. So it's under 26 feet long, it has a slide. Um, this unit only has a little over 9,000 miles, guys. Very rare to find a small motor home with low miles like this, even though we try to buy every one we can get our hands on. Because most people that have smaller motorhomes like this use them more. They're not near as complicated to use, drive, and park compared to a big one. So they get a lot more use than a big RV does. But to find one like this with 9,000 miles, only has 217 hours on the generator. It's very, very rare. Now, it just came in. I wanted to go ahead and put it online because I've had a lot of people asking for small Class Cs with stationary beds. Well, here you go, guys. A uh, couple of things I want to point out. Still got the bugs on the front, so we haven't washed it yet. Um, we tried to peel off. Somebody has some goofy stickers there on the corner, and they left some of the residue. And uh, I'm just, we're just have to get in there and, and, and scrub and scrub those off. So that'll be off when you see it. So, but the paint's not hurt at all. Of course, got that good looking to me. My favorite Ford front end, that big chrome grill, Ford V10, 6.8 liter Triton V10, 305 horsepower. 420 pound feet of torque, the 450 chassis, a little bit wider wheelbase than the 350, so less sway. And the outside looks great. Uh, of course, got those classic jamboree colors, that that bright yellow and the blues, and really looks good. Got a blue awning to match. Got good tires on it. We just drove it 600 miles in. No delamination. Got the spare tire on the back, roof ladder, got the backup camera. 5,000 pound tow capacity on the hitch. So that's easy for most today's uh, tow vehicles that you're gonna tow with it. Got the slide out, of course, with the awning topper. To be a 12 year old motor home, the exterior of this, of this is in excellent condition. Running boards, 4KW, Onan generator. Of course, the pollen comes with it free. <laughs> Just kidding, folks. We'll, we'll wash it off before you pick it up. <laughs> it's that time of the year you can wash one, and 24 hours later, your windshield yellow. So, uh, from the good pollen we have here in northwest Georgia. Six-gallon DSI water heater. I've got pictures of the outside storage bays if you want to look them up on the website. Let's look inside. As we step inside, guys, there's no smoke or pet odors. And uh, turn, turn my camera lights on. Man, it's it's everything you need in a Class C. Uh, seats look great. Uh, backup camera is on. Dash air is ice cold. Got a Jensen CD stereo. 9,200 and... Excuse me. Yep, 9,291 miles. Original miles guaranteed. Power windows, power locks, plastics look great. Seats look great. Windshield looks great. Tilt, cruise. Um, all the goodies you need up here. Got a... It's between a full and a queen size bed up top with the cab over. You do have a swivel TV mount. So you can adjust it from any angle. Uh, a few things the previous owners left in here. Looks like you got a DVD player, and of course you've got the privacy curtain, the remote control, and all that. That curtain goes across the cab. Now, guys, it is a 12-year-old motorhome. Even though it has very low miles, you still have a few cosmetics issues like you would on any 12-year-old vehicle. The plastic trim right here is cracked. Um... You know, that's just part of buying a 12-year-old motorhome. Of course, guys, when you look at what these things cost new, 
a brand new Jamboree C-Class starts at about $130,000 now. Or you can buy this one with 9,000 miles for $34,900, which was half what it cost brand new back in 2008. That shows you how much new RV prices have gone up. 2008, this unit was right at $70,000. Now, they're $131,000 for essentially the same motorhome. Crazy. But this one's not 70, it's not 130, it's 349. So for that kind of savings, guys, you know, you got and I'm just showing you this stuff, guys. I'm not trying to shoot myself in the foot. I'm just showing you this stuff because I don't want you coming here expecting them to be brand new motorhomes. They're not. Hence they're 12 years old and, and half price of what it costs new and darn near a hundred thousand dollars less than what a 2020 model would cost right now. You know, I had people tell me, well, if that thing was only $68,000 or $70,000 new, I'll just spend thirty-five dollars more grand to buy a new one. Well, you can't buy a new one for seventy grand no more, guys, unless you invent a time machine and go back 12 years. Because now, they're what was what was seventy then is $131 now. So, keep that in mind. I do like the big table. Uh, and this is actually not bad. I mean, I'm I'm a big guy. I'm I'm bigger than most of y'all. I'm 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 300 pounds, six foot four, but I can actually sit at this table in my gut, and not touch it. Uh, which is, if you're somebody big, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So a lot more comfortable to eat at, and this table is removable, so you can use it for like a sectional sofa if you want to. Also makes a bed, so you got three beds in here. You got your uh, almost queen size up top. This makes a full, and you got a queen in the back, so you can sleep up to six in under a 26 foot motorhome. So that's pretty nice. I uh, got a roof air. Look over here, guys. Got a double stainless sink, uh, three burner stove top, oven, microwave, refrigerator. Runs off propane or electric, of course. Big closet right here. Got a queen size bed in the back with a privacy curtain. Um, got the outside vanity, which is nice. That way, you know, if you've got two people staying in here, one can be here um, brushing their teeth, getting ready for bed, the other one in the bathroom, the other one taking a shower while you've got the other one at the sink. So, trust me, in a smaller motor home, stuff like it makes a difference. Medicine cabinet overhead, plenty of lighting. We're going to go here into the bathroom where you've got the... Uh, RV toilet, little stand-up shower, skylight, everything looks good. Now, of course, the plastic's yellowed a little bit with age, which is actually very, this is normal, especially when there's a skylight involved. They do yellow with age. Does it hurt the strength of the plastic? No. It's just something plastic does when it's exposed to the UV rays uh, from that skylight over the years. Now, you can paint this to make it look bright white, but... In a couple of years, it's going to look just like this, this again. So it's entirely up to you. But it's not going to hurt anything. It's just a cosmetic issue. Uh, like I said, you got a queen bed in the back. You've got plenty of overhead storage. You know, the headliner, nothing sagging. No, no, nothing like that. I didn't see any stains in it. It's a nice little motorhome, guys. You know, if you don't want a great big 32, 33 foot Class C, you know, this is something that you can maneuver around very easily. Can still sleep a couple or a small family. And, um, you know, motorhome this size is, is really nice because if you just want to go somewhere for a weekend or for a day, I mean, this is a great, this is something that you can take to tailgate events, to, 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 to baseball games and softball games if you got kids, sporting events. I mean, you're under 26 feet long. You buy a van, a travel van, or a Class B van, or a conversion van like I drive, you're 21 feet. So five more feet, and you get all this space, all this usable living space. Um, you know, I know uh, if you've got relatives staying in the hospital, your spouse is staying in the hospital, drive the RV, park it at the end, you've got your generator, have a place for everybody to come relax, hang out for a few minutes, have a snack, have a nice bathroom. I mean, I, there's so many things you can do with a small motorhome that, that makes them so much easier to justify owning. Um, and believe me, guys, I've got a 38-footer, and, and there are days that, 
in situations that I wish I had a smaller motor home for just the three of us. But, um, and that may be coming in the future. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm, we've been kicking it around. So, um, but anyway, you know, nice motor home like this, you can tow a vehicle behind it. You can tow 5,000 pounds at V10s more than enough power and that motor's been around since the mid 90s i mean it's obviously proven itself over the decades in fact i think the v10 has been around since 96 that's what 24 years honestly the v10's been around almost as long as the 460 was yeah it's a great motor great torque 420 pound feet of torque it's going to handle the mountains good it's going to be able to get on the highway and the interstate entrance ramps very well uh, without, you know, you want to be able to at least get up close to the speed limit before you hit the highway so you don't have to worry about trucks getting over and, 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 and merging and all that. So definitely that extra torque. Even though you're not driving it, you're not driving, you don't have to drive at 75 and 80 miles an hour, but you at least need to get up to a certain comfortable speed before merging onto the highway, um, especially for safety reasons. Because sometimes people get over and sometimes they don't. So you need to have that extra oomph when you need it. But guys, Fleetwood Jamboree, Fleetwood of course has sold more Class C's and Class A's over any other manufacturer in the RV industry by far. The Jamboree is of course the number... It's either the Jamboree or its cousin, the Tioga, or the two best-selling class C's of all time I'm not sure which one's one which one's two I think Jamboree's number one but Tioga is right there on its tail so and this is a series that's been out for many decades it's proven a test of time um, of course uh, you know Fleetwood one of the better brands you can buy in a class C in my humble opinion um, one that I would consider myself if I was ever going back to a Class C, that and Winnebago. Are two brands that you really can't go wrong with on a Class C. This unit's 34.9. And of course, it includes all the benefits that other dealers don't give you that we do that are worth a lot of money, guys. First thing, after purchase, this unit is going to go through our world famous and no other dealer does this on a 12 year old motor home or any used rv guys that i know of we have a massive four page inspection process and of course i got obviously got a physical copy in here that i'm gonna leave in here in case you come here in person and look at it and of course i've got the factory sales brochure which is available on the website uh that you can look over as well from 2008 but and here's what you can do guys if you want to pause the video look in the video description below for any interested parties that wants to buy this unit or buying another one from us pause the video there's going to be several links below that i want you to explore those links real quick one of them of course is a link to our four page inspection process of everything that we do to this unit in writing guaranteed after purchase we send it through service after purchase we go through this inspection list fix anything this unit has that's on this list that may not function at no additional cost to you so 34.9 everything in writing guaranteed in this list that this unit has to work perfectly and uh, go ahead and pause the video there's the link to that link to the individual listing on my website where you can see the sales brochure pictures and so much more there'll be a link to something else I'm starting I started last week it's got a lot of positive response 360 degree virtual photos that let you see it from literally every angle not just the angles I'm showing you in front of the camera so it adds a level of transparency so you can see the actual unit you're buying instead of stock photos that's in the video description below also on our website and a link to our Class C website page. You can look at all of our used Class C's. Pause the video real quick. Explore those links. And when you're done looking at them, hit, hit the play button. All right. Now that you've explored all those things, you see how thorough we are in not only the way we advertise our RVs and present them, but how thorough we are with what we do after the sale, guys. Most dealers you go to, you're lucky if they'll check the generator, the roof air, the fridge, and maybe check your propane system for leaks. That's it. We do that and so, so, so much more. 
and all that's on there because guys for sale by owners aren't going to do this other dealers aren't going to do this without charging you thousands and thousands of dollars extra but we do and guys that's why we've been in business 52 years you buy an rv a parkway rv it's a step above your standard used rv um to back up everything that we do guys we do a couple of things uh to back up how good my guys are about checking these units out of course we clean it up after my techs are done with it do a final inspection we'll call you after this unit is ready and if you want to know the current lead time for a class c checkout which isn't long at all give us a call we'll give you that information my salespeople will because i don't know when you're watching this video I, mean, I can tell you what it is right now but a week from now it may not be it may be longer maybe shorter i'd rather you call um when you're ready to buy this coach and get that current lead time but once it's checked out it's cleaned up it's final walkthrough if we're happy with everything we'll call you to set up an appointment to pick up your new to you jamboree sport once you arrive here at the appointed time the tech that checked it out or my walkthrough expert preston will go through this motorhome with you show you how to operate everything show you everything works answer any questions you have um give you tips tricks and pointers help you hook a vehicle up to it if you're towing something back that's included for the 349 also included something else that other dealers don't do we actually purchase you a 90 day nationwide easy care limited warranty you can extend that very very affordably guys um if you want longer uh if you want longer than a 90 day and very affordable make sure you check into that with your salesperson or finance manager easy care is easily easy easy care is easily <laughs> easily easy care is easily the most recognized brand in aftermarket warranties and service contracts for rvs what i like about them compared to the other ones that we've dealt with in the past and the other ones we've offered and that we've checked on offering is they actually will pay any license repair facility to work on your rv you don't have to take it to a new fleetwood dealer you don't have to take it to a new dealer at all. It can be a used dealer. It can be an independent service garage. It can be a mobile RV technician. Any license repair facility, they will pay for an approved claim. That gives you options. Because here's the thing, guys. This is 2020. Everybody's a local buyer now. People use the internet every day in RVs and everything else in life. People travel from all over the United States. To buy RV still even right now in the middle of this coronavirus I got customers coming in from all over to buy RVs and here's what happens in the rare occasion you have a warranty claim in the first 90 days or a year or two years or three years if you get the extended warranties you have options on where you can take it you can always bring it to us of course you can take it to your local dealer you can take it to another dealer if you're out vacationing and something breaks you, you've got options on where you can take it this dealer tells you it's going to be three months. I'm so backed up right now, it's two or three months before I can get to it. You, you can take it to another dealer. You're not obligated to any one individual dealer for service work. So it gives you options depending on where you're at and where you live, when and if something happens. So very highly recommend this warranty company, guys. And even though we sell so many of these warranties that... We're still one of the lowest claim percentage dealers, which means less Parkway RVs go in for service repairs than other dealers. And that's pretty impressive to us since just about everything we sell at minimum includes a 90 day nationwide warranty that we buy you. So um, just a good testimony how good my guys are. But anyway, guys, come out and visit with us. You get all those benefits for $34.9, plus we give you some other nice incentives too. Your legal drive, 45-day drive-out tags included, no extra charge. Your um, uh, starter kit is included, big five-gallon bucket, brand new, new sewer hose, water hose, pressure reducer, chemicals, adapters, and more. You know, most dealers, you buy a used RV, you get whatever the previous owners left you, if anything at all. I don't know about you, but I don't really want to use somebody else's uh, stinky slinky. I want my own, brand new. So you get that and more. You get instructional DVDs um, and all that's included, guys. Plus, you get free camping for a year. Tw up to 21 nights free camping to you, absolutely free. 
uh, at select RV resorts nationwide seven nights at a time to be used in a 12 month period. If you got questions about that, give us a call. But you get that also included. That's if you had to buy that camp, and it's a thousand bucks right there or more. So, guys, we try to make it all inclusive as possible. 34.9 plus sales tax, no extra fees. You know, a lot of the, what a lot of these other dealers don't tell you is when you come in, you see an RV you like online. Say this one for an example. You come in and the RV is priced $34.9. You get in there, you like it. You get in there to finance it or pay for it, trade for it or whatever. Guess what, guys? When you get ready to sign the dotted line, that $34.9 price is suddenly $42.9 or, or $43.7 or something like that. Because they're adding thousands of dollars in dock fees, prep fees, happy camper fees, uh, processing fees, inspection fees, freight fees, and more. All those fees are nothing but dealer profit. The only thing we charge is the sales price and applicable sales tax. That's it. Easy, simple, done. If you got a question about that, give us a call. My guys will give you a sales tax estimate if you're out of state. Um and answer any questions you have about that but there are no games gimmicks or surprises here guys haggle free price because i've already looked online guys other 2008 of course none of them have 9,000 miles now there's some on there with 40,000 50,000 60,000 miles thousands of dollars higher than our 08 with 9,000 miles and theirs don't include fees from the ones that are from dealerships and you can bet they don't include warranty, a four-page inspection process, free camping, and all those other benefits, even though they're thousands of dollars more. But guys, that's why we sell five to six hundred used RVs a year. Our prices, you know, you can check out the rest, but you can't beat us, folks. We're the best. I mean, we have a hundred fifty-plus used RVs in here, any shape, size that you can imagine. Um, Top motorhomes, towables, fifth wheels, travel trailers, toy haulers, class A, B's, and C's, gas and diesel, <coughs> and more. And guys, make sure that you check them out. You'll be surprised um, how much inventory we'll have. And unlike other RV dealers that play that, play that high pressure car dealership game at an RV dealership where you can't just simply look you have to go through a salesperson you have to go into a sales office because everything's locked up by in a prison yard behind a big tall barbed wire top fence you can't get in without somebody with a key to a locked gate feels like you're going to prison or visiting somebody in prison pretty much they set you down they interrogate you for 10 15 minutes get copies of your driver's license uh, a lot of times they're they're getting your tag number off your vehicle because you can look people up from the tag number um and they get all this information about you before and then even after you do all that the salesperson is going to take you out there and show you what they want to see you try to tell a commission salesperson that has to be there with you that you want to look at 150 rvs and be there all day he'll run you off quicker than than anything else because they don't have time to, because their managers won't let you just look you they, they make the salespeople stay with them because they're building a rapport with you and getting all the information they need to make you buy that day, even if you're months away from buying or even years, that's the worst thing you can tell a commission salesperson that you're not ready to buy right now or give them a time limit because they're going to bug the ever-living piss out of you. And here comes the sales pressure. Because here's the thing, guys. These big RV dealerships, their salespeople have a huge turnaround rate. So you talk to somebody and then you come back six months later and you're ready to buy it, that person's working somewhere else. All that time they spent with you, they get they don't get a dime for it because they only get paid when they sell something. So the worst thing you can do is tell them that you're not ready to buy, you just want to look. Because they're not going to let a lot of them are a lot of them anyway are not going to let you just look. Here, guys, we're totally opposite of any RV dealer you've been to before. We're totally opposite. Our prices are haggle free. That way that's one less stress you have to worry about. If you don't believe me that our price is the lowest one on the internet, Google it yourself. Look up 2008 25 G uh jamboree sport see how many of them you find with close to nine thousand miles with a warranty with that four page inspection and all that included for 34.9 you'll be looking for a long time 
And while you're looking, somebody else is going to buy this and realize what kind of deal it is, is going to buy it and be out using it while you're still looking for your camper. And guys, that's what happens. You know, the internet's a two-edged sword. It's a great resource for buyers because you can literally look up every single 2008 Jamboree 25G Sport on the internet today for sale. You can compare prices, features, options, uh, condition, uh, mileage, and things like that. And price, of course, the main thing. But it's a two-edged sword because everybody else can too. Because you're not the only, and I tell the people this all the time, and I mean it, guys. You are not the only interested party watching this video right now. You're not. Not not even, uh, there's going to be several interested parties wanting to buy this RV. So guys, I always recommend before you come down to call, make sure it's available um, before coming down. And if you come down here and you like what you see, or if you feel pretty sure about it, consider leaving a deposit. Because until there's money on it, it's for sale. We do not hold RVs for anybody. Until money is on the table, either in the form of paying for it or a deposit, then it is available for sale to anybody and everybody. And we do have financing available with approved credit. Get you some long-term, low-interest rate financing if you've got excellent credit. Uh, with down payment, too, of course. If you got a question about that, give us a call. Um, nationwide delivery is available. It costs. You pay us whatever it costs us to get it to you. Get my driver back home. That's all you pay. No profit on delivery. If it cost me uh, $557 to get this RV several hundred miles to you, that's what we charge you. And get my driver back home, of course. And depending on where you live, sometimes we ask you to drop my driver off at the at your local airport. So you can catch a flight back, or sometimes he'll tow something behind it to drive back. It just depends on where you're at and how far away it is, which works out best for us money-wise. Because the less it costs us to get it to you and get my driver back home, the less you have to pay. If you want a quote on delivery, give us a call. Uh, make sure you check out the 360-degree photos I took. Uh, they're on our website and in the video description below is a link. But thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, our phone number again, 706-965-7929 or email sales at parkwayrbcenter.com. Um, we're open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday 9 to 5 Eastern, and of course closed Sundays for the Lord's Day and Family Day for our hardworking employees. Many of them work five, six days a week, every single week. And uh, we are closed most holidays, so if it's a holiday, make sure you call to see if we're open or not. You know, I do not believe in using holidays and keeping my employees away from their families, because unlike a lot of dealers, good employees are worth their weight in gold, and we do our best to take care of them, and including, you know, we close at closing time every night. It's not like car dealerships where you show up two minutes before they for their official closing time and they'll stay over two or three hours guys at closing time we close that's our employees that their their families are expecting them home at a certain time i'd never stay open for anybody i don't care how far you drove you need to call and verify when we're opening before you drive down here um and i'm not trying to be rude about that I had a guy here the other day I was actually locking the door, locking the gate, and he pulls up and said he just drove 100 miles. I said, you should have called and seen when, when we closed before you drove 100 miles. And uh, I'm sorry, but, you know, I never ask anybody to stay over for any reason or come in on, their, or come in on Sundays, guys. It's just the way we operate. And for those of you who've been in business, you know exactly how I feel and, and why that's such an important thing to take care of your employees. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, come out and visit with us. Plenty of RVs for you to look at. Uh, more on the way. I think we bought eight more this morning. You know, I'm still buying. Even with everything going on. And we're still selling RVs like crazy. Uh, so give us a call. Drop us an email. Visit our website. Uh, ParkwayRVCenter.com. Again, a link below in the video description. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.